Welcome to the setup guide to Cetra's Head Start software. Cetra's Head Start software is used for quick configuration of the power patrol meter. This Windows-based utility allows you to easily configure the meter on or off-site using your PC. Simply connect the Cetra Power Patrol to your PC via USB connection, follow the steps below, and your Power Patrol will be fully configured for the job within minutes. Cetra's Head Start software will help you set up and verify meter configuration, switch between Modbus or BACnet, check real-time values at the job site, read and write Modbus registers, and update meter firmware. Head Start installation. First, install Head Start software on your PC. Once Head Start installation is complete, connect the Power Patrol meter to your PC prior to launching Head Start. Go to your desktop and double click on the Head Start icon. Once the program opens, select USB in the PC interface section. Then, in the PC COM port drop down box, select the corresponding USB communication driver. Click Connect. Note that the status section indicates a successful USB connection. The device info section shows the information about the meter, such as serial number and firmware version. Meter Setup The Meter Setup tab allows you to configure the type of CTs, demand window, line frequency, and meter configuration. Go to the Meter Setup tab and click on the Retrieve Meter Setup button. This will display the existing meter configuration. Here you can choose between Rogowski coils or standard CTs, modify CT rating, select Y or Delta meter configuration, and select the type of digital output. Once meter configuration is complete, just click on the Send Setup to Meter button and the meter configuration will be updated accordingly. Communication Setup The Communication Setup tab allows the installer to select between BACnet and Modbus either through RS-485 or Ethernet, prior to the installation. Go to the Communication Setup tab. The Communication Setup configured is displayed. To switch between BACnet and Modbus, simply go to the Communication drop-down box and select the desired communication protocol. Configure the RS-485 settings or Ethernet settings as needed. Update the meter configuration by clicking on the Send Setup to Meter button. Wait for a few seconds while the meter configuration is updated. To reconnect to the meter, go back to Communication Setup tab and click Connect. Real-time Values The Real-time Values tab shows the current readings for volts, amps, kilowatts, kilowatt hours, kVAR, power factor, and other meter parameters. To view the current values, click the Update button in the Real-time Values tab. If you would like the reading to automatically update, select the Auto Update checkbox. Read Write Register Setup. This tab allows the user to read and or write to different Modbus registers. Go to Read Write Registers tab and click on the List button. This shows a list of the different Modbus registers that contain net, positive, and negative measurements, as well as configuration registers. After selecting the register, click the Read button to display the current value. The existing value can be modified by entering a new value in the corresponding box and clicking on the right button. Firmware. The firmware tab allows you to update the firmware version on the meter. Click on the firmware tab, then browse to the location of the hex firmware file. Select the file, then click on the update button. This firmware upgrade process will likely take between three and five minutes. If you have any installation questions or need technical support, please contact us at orders at or at 855-970-2179.